So from the previous video, we came to know about this direction of current. And uh, now we will discuss about the equation of current. Though we know about the current equation I equal to Q by T. So for that, what will be the other equation for current that let's proceed. Now, if we consider an object within that, suppose a number of electrons is there. Then, what will be the charge of this object? Of course, the charge will be Q equal to A into E. What is E? Charge of one electron. So that means one can easily say Q equal to A into E. So for that, if we consider this where and through this particular where a number of charge is flowing, then current per unit time will be Q by T or N into E by T. Okay. Even in higher class, means in class 12, you will know about another type of equation based on wind velocity i equal to n e a v d what is this n n equal to number of electron per unit volume here this n this n is number of electron per unit volume e is electronic charge a is area cross section and v d is the wind velocity okay. now let's come to the unit of electric current so unit for current i equal to q by t now q is coulomb and t is second so simply we can say coulomb per second in one word this coulomb per second is known as ampere this ampere is the unit of electric current okay now what will be the definition of one ampere one ampere equal to one can write as one coulomb per one second means if we consider this well May. Now, within this where if one coulomb of charge is flowing within the time interval of one second, then the current flowing through the where will be one ampere. Simple. Okay. Oh. Your name is uh, came from a French scientist Andrew Maria Ampere. So, with uh, for this. French scientist we are given this unit of current is ampere. Okay. Now the last topic within this current is current is scalar quantity or a vector one. Now you may think that current is containing some amount of magnitude as well as it is moving from positive pole to negative pole. So that means it must be a vector pole. But it's not true there. Actually, to be a vector quantity, only this two criteria is not enough. Apart from that, there are also the third criteria the quantity which have both magnitude and direction and must follow the vector algebra is a vector one now what is vector algebra in class 11 you will learn these things but 
remember here this current quantity does not follow the vector algebra that's why current is a scalar quantity so current is a scalar okay so this much about electric current in next class we will proceed with the reason why this current is flowing means simply we will say the electric potential and potential resistance that thing we will discuss in next session thanks thanks to all